What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Smell Good, Feel Good. I'm Cody. This is Stud Muffins. And today is going to be kind of a um, fragrance haul slash unboxing video. So stand fast. <laughs> Alright everybody, so welcome back. Um, so today, like I said, it's kind of like a fragrance haul. Even though I didn't pay for any of these fragrances and decants and samples, I actually won it in a giveaway, which is really cool because it's like the first giveaway I think I've ever won for anything ever. I don't think I've ever won a giveaway or a raffle before. And, um, you know, this one was really cool, too, because this giveaway was kind of, like, uh, reserved only for people um, from the military service or basically anybody in uniform, like, you know, EMTs, first responders, things like that. So, surprisingly, there's, at least in the um, group that I was in, there were surprisingly not that many people uniform people or service members so I think that's what put the odds in my favor <sighs> but anyways so that was really special uh, there was an anonymous donor who um, I guess is very you know I guess you could say patriotic and really appreciates you know veterans and people that are first responders and things like that so I think that was very awesome of them and I know who this person is they've they, they after I won they messaged me but I they, they still wish to remain anonymous but anyways this is really cool so the giveaway was for a fragrance I hadn't even heard of the house until now it is molten brown and this fragrance is mesmerizing eau de cord and gold this is the Eau de Parfum, and uh, I'm going to be doing reviews on all of these uh, things, and by all of these I mean this person also included a bunch of samples and decants along with this, and they even included something for my fiance to wear, and she's currently wearing it right now at work. She really, really likes it, and I like it too, what they gave, so... Thank you very much for thinking of Amity and including a little something special in there for her. But yeah, I will be reviewing all of these, so I'm not going to say how things smell right now. I took the cap off and I can smell it. Okay guys, this smells really good, but I'll get into details with a review on this particular fragrance. So yeah, the Molten Brown was the what the giveaway was for. And um, let's go through everything else. And so I tried looking this one up and I couldn't find it. And it was just on Fragrantica. Maybe I did it wrong, but it is A-E-O-M by Bijan or something like that. If I pronounce any of these wrong, I apologize. I, you know, I'm not an expert with these things, but um, Mm. Yeah, looking forward to reviewing that. This one, I can't remember what they said this was a sample of. I'm trying to think. But, I mean, here's the label. There's no name on it. But, I'm trying to think. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but anyways, yep, so... <laughs> I might put it in little captions down below what they said this was a sample of. And a lot of these are things that I haven't experienced yet. So this is Teo Cabanel Alahim, I think that's what it is. It's a sample of that fragrance right there. Now, everybody knows this one. Um, this is Killian's Straight to Heaven. Amity really likes that one. If Stud Muffins looks like he's 
shivering a little bit, it's because he got a bath. Um, or what he calls waterboarding. Now this one I'm really excited about because I've really been wanting to sample this house, but this is Stranger's Perfumery. This is SM Cafe. So a um, coffee based fragrance, which is really cool. This is another one that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, I have yet to try anything from this house and this is, I wanna say based off of what I heard, one of the more challenging scents from this house. So this might not be the best one for me to gauge everything else from this house, but this is Zoologist Hyrax. So I heard this is a very, very, very animalic fragrance and is I think in either love it or hate it kind of fragrance so I'm looking forward to trying that out and I I'm, I'm gonna probably purchase later on down the road a you know sample kit of a lot of zoologists fragrances this one is unique it unique a luxury but uh, it's cute cut I don't know if I, again, if I say these wrong, I apologize. Like, it's not focusing. I apologize. There we go. A little bit. But, uh, yeah. So, there's that one. Oh, Diptyque Tom Dow EDT. Little sample right here. So, I've... Uh, Tom Dow. Is that... Is that... I'm trying to think. Because I've looked this one up before. So I was curious about it. I, I don't know why, but I'm thinking it's got like tomato leaf or something in it. Probably totally wrong. But anyways, this Slumber House, another one that I've been wanting to check out. This is Bach or Bouquet or I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, there's that one. I'll, I'll put little things down in the bottom, little captions or whatever so that you guys can see at least how it's spelled since, you know, I'm, I'm stupid. Uh, this next one is Zhirzhov Kobe, or Kobe, Kobe, right here. So excited to try that one out. And speaking of Zhirzhov, I don't know how many of you guys are in the same Facebook fragrance groups as I am, but I, you know, this weekend is my birthday and it's a big one. It's a, it's... It's the big 3-0, so that's my age, whatever. Um, but, so I, I want to buy myself something special. So I made a poll on a bunch of different, you know, fragrance groups on Facebook. And I had like a list of 24 fragrances. People can add whatever they want. Somebody added Dracar Noir, whatever. Look at the rose. The rose. Anyways, so I will, you know, tally all those up, but I think that the winner was Zhirzhov's Naxos, and I think the second runner-up might have been MFK's Grand Soir, and then I believe in third place was Zaharoff signature and honestly so I'm gonna get the Zerzhov the Naxos I really just want to buy the triple pack of the Zaharoff and you know because George Zaharoff is coming out with two flankers to the Zaharoff signature pour home and I, I don't know man I just I want them uh, I, I've got a, a sample of the first one. I like it, and I'm sure that the other ones are going to be good too. So I might just, I might splurge and buy all four of those things. But I don't know because you know, trying to save up for a wedding. But anyways, you only turn 30 once, right? Um, this one here is Javoy Paris, which I, it's a house that I'm starting to really, really like. And this was La Fant Terrible, or Terrible? It's probably not Terrible, it's probably Terrible. 
But uh, yeah, so looking forward to trying that one out. And then this I actually wore today and really, really liked it. So looking forward to reviewing this. And this is, I think, he Heckles or Hickles. Ugh, I hate that I don't know. I should have probably like watched videos from like people way smarter about fragrances than me like Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrances or something and heard how they pronounce these fragrances. But anyways, this is the uh, 2130 East or whatever. And yeah, so I kind of want to say what I ha how I felt about it when I wore it today, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for the review. But anyways, guys, there you go. Those are some videos that will be coming up in the future on this channel. Haven't been doing, you know, I wanted to try to make like one or two videos a week, but I haven't been doing that because I've been really studying for this licensing exam that I will have to take for a new position at my current job. And, you know, I'm hoping, you know, I pass, if I pass, then maybe that'll, that might help me have the funds to uh, buy like legit bottles of stuff to review, but, and it'll make paying for the wedding way easier. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for joining me. If you're cool with the way Stud Muffins is in the videos now, even though he's kind of like sleeping most of the time, let me know, like the video, and uh, we'll make sure to bring Stud Muffins back on. Uh, people have been missing him. Somebody asked if I'd be a you know, sad if somebody stole them, and honestly, if somebody took muffins, I'd go Liam Neeson on them, okay? So don't do it. All right, guys, till next time, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go enjoy my birthday weekend. Bye-bye.